Hello and welcome to today's video. So on the workbench today we have the Semicron CMix 603GAR066HDS IGBT module. This is the module that failed shorted in the Evnetics Soliton Jr. Customer said I could keep it, so we took it apart. <laughs> Had a little bit of a casualty. Uh, you have to bend these uh, pins up in order to kind of pry the uh, cover off. This is like a little plastic cover. And uh, in doing so, I did break this pin. So if you're going to do this, don't do it to a good, perfectly functional IGBT module. <laughs> do it to a bad one like this. So we'll do a, a quick little overview here. So if you look at the schematic, we've got uh, the IGBT and a diode in parallel with it, and then another diode over here. And those structures are on the dot, or on, we've got uh, essentially three ceramic substrates that are identical. And it looks like they've designed it so they can use the same ceramic substrates for different configurations, which makes sense. The configuration we have, we've got an IGBT here, an IGBT here, IGBT here. This is the diode that's in parallel with it. So that's the next other diode, another, another diode. So those are on parallel with the IGBTs. And those groups are in parallel with these little links. So that essentially makes this whole section one giant IGBT with one diode in parallel. So that's this section right here. Then on the other side, we've got a diode here, a diode here, and a diode here. And they're also all in parallel. You can see the links connecting them in parallel. And that is this guy right here. And then we've got some links um, back here, the ones in the middle, essentially do this mid connection at location three and four, whereas pin one is, uh, is the pin that I broke. And you can see that actually connects to this bus bar that runs in the back here with those two links. Um, it definitely looks like there are other options available since this, if you populated the other IGBTs here, you would get essentially a half bridge with those in parallel as well. Uh, and so you'd get, uh, you know, your IGBT with the diode, IGBT with the diode, and that makes your half bridge. And the other option would be, you can see how this is kind of soldered into the substrate here. You'd have one coming off of here, and another one coming off of here. And then if you got rid of all these links, the, the links here and the links here, you would no longer have them in parallel, and you could have half bridge half bridge and half bridge, and then uh, either use this end or this end to supply power, your two power rails, and that would give you a, a full three phase bridge uh, in one package. So this is rated at 600 amps, 600 volts. So if you were to do that, you would have a 200 amp three phase bridge. Uh, in this case, they've got them all in parallel for 600 amps. Um, all these little spring contacts here, they come through if you can see it, they come through the little itty bitty tiny pins. I don't know if you can see that, but the pins stick out and then those end up touching the uh, copper. So you see like this little copper section here. Uh, that's where this pin makes contact and then this pin here makes contact at that copper section. And see these two pins are the temperature sensor and this little guy right down here is the temperature sensor so those little pins make contact on either side of the uh, temperature sensor which looks like it's just a, a NPT or resistor and um, or negative temperature coefficient N NTC or it could be positive temperature coefficient PTC resistor I don't know I, I didn't look it up <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's that's what's going on inside this module. I'm going to see if we can zoom in and I can show you. Uh, originally, if you watched, I think maybe two two videos ago of the uh, repairing the Soliton Jr., I was oming it out and these two IGBTs were bad. They're shorted. But this one looked like it's okay uh, with the gate because the gates on these guys are shorted. But the gate on this one's fine and it does look like there's no damage to this IGBT. So if we were to cut these three links, you could actually use this as a 600 volt, 200 amp IGBT. Looks like it's fully functional. That guy's dead and that guy's dead. So 
Oh, and the, and the diodes are fine, so you could actually use the um, all three diodes if you needed to. <laughs> or I guess they're all in parallel, so one giant diode. Um, we're going to see if I can zoom in here. You're on the tripod, so um, let's see what we can do. If, uh, yeah. So I'm going to adjust my focus here. I'm on manual focus because it was really having trouble doing this earlier. So I think we can do that. And if I actually edited videos, this would probably be really cool. So hopefully, I'm trying to judge where where I can get. I think I can, that's like my closest focal point, I think. So we're looking for, that's probably in focus there. We'll lock that down. Okay, so, I don't know if we can see, let me grab my chair here. Oh, and of course I'm hitting the tripod. So, if we go ahead and measure with the meter, so I don't have it on the screen, so I just have to hear it beep, but, uh, you know. I can uh... right so uh, we had uh, this IGBT so if we measure across the whole thing we're, we're definitely shorted so if we follow this links you can see that that is connected in parallel but if we go to uh, I think it would be all right here's the gate on this one can see it's dead and you can see this is the gate because that pin comes in here and that goes across the center the center of the IGBT die and I don't know if it, you can see it but if you look closely um, how it's got it's got some discolored spots in here that's where it blew up so this whole section in here is dead dead it actually looks like these two uh, parts are okay but that guy's dead see this big chunk here that's dead um, diode looks fine this IGBT you can see it's got some dead chunk in here all through there this whole side looks like it's okay but yeah this one looks bad 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 this section might be okay and again you can see the gate gate drive so if I check to uh, to that one uh, I think like this you'll see it shorted and then if we look at the last guy here this guy looks okay there's no discoloration everything looks nice he looks like he's completely intact and if we check his gate same way you can see it's not shorted at all so he's good so like I said, this 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 guy is okay. And then uh, the diodes, um, you can kind of see. <laughs> I don't know what else to show here, but uh, uh, it's not like we're gonna be able to fix this. But if we had the other IGBT populated, you could see it would be soldered into its die would get soldered onto this uh, copper uh, back plate, which is on top of this ceramic back plate. This is like a ceramic. You can kind of see the they're different separate chunks of ceramic that everything gets bonded to. But if we had that guy there, see how the bond wires kind of just jump over to the copper? They would all jump over to here. This would be the solder place for the IGBT. They'd have a bunch of wires jumping over there. And then um, its gate would be uh, in here somewhere. I think where the maybe it would be there. Hold on, let me think about this for a second. Um, no, it'd have to be up here. It it would be like right in here. So yeah, this would be. This would be the gate. Yeah, so we'd have this is the gate. So that would jump there. That would be the gate, and then all of the uh, bond wires from the other IGBT would be along this this edge right here. Yeah, that makes more sense. And then. 
yeah, everything else is... I think that's it. All of those little pins come through and they contact to, to here and here. Over to here. Uh, down in here. 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 And of course the two pads that end up over here for the uh, temperature sensor. And um, yeah, uh, well, you can see where this is, how they've got this soldered in here. So they could obviously do that with this and this to make the two half or the three half bridges to make it a three phase uh, device. But um, yeah, that's an IGBT, a high power IGBT module for you. And then you can see this is the one I broke. Uh, this um, silicone compound is kind of, it's a little gooey. You can kind of see it. It's like, it is kind of like a solid, but it's nice that it's clear. You can actually see what went wrong. But, uh, yeah, you know those giant copper plates that the, the, the celaton drives have? <laughs> All that current flows through. When we got like 12 bond wires there, 12 bond wires here. I think there's six on each side. Yeah, six, six, and then these 12. So all the current flows through just these little tiny bond wires. <laughs> yep. Anyways, um, yeah, I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.